Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new question in he problems. So basically our question is that we are given an array and I need to return the top three largest value present in the array, right? And your array can be in any order. It can be integer, it can be any integer, positive, negative, it can be in any order. Now let's say in this case, if my, this is my array and my k equals to three, right? So I need, so I should return the top k largest value, top 3 largest value. So what are the top 3 largest value? This is 30, 38 and 45, right? Now it doesn't matter that they are in which order, it's just that I should return that these are the top k largest value, these are the top 3 largest value present in the array, right? Now the one easy way that you, that you immediately think is to sort the complete list to sort the complete array and then at the last return me the last three values, right? So in this case what happens, let's say if I'm, if I'm solving this using sorting, so if I sort this, then it will be 2, 7, 8, then 10, 11, 30, 38, 45, right? So once you, once you, once you sort the complete list, then last three element will be your, your k list, k list value, right? Your last k element. So if you are doing using this way, in this case, what will be the time complexity? So time complexity will be n log n. Because if you are sorting this using merge sort or using quick sort, in both the cases, the time complexity is n log n, right? Now let's do try solve using the heap problem. That if you are solving using heap, that will it improve the solution? Now let's say, if I am doing using, uh, using maximum heap, right? Using the max heap. So first of all, what I will do, I'll basically put all the values into maximum heap, right? So if I put all the values into maximum heap, so my complexity is big of n, right? This is what it does that if I need to create the complete array into maximum heap, so it will be big of n. Now what I'm doing that I am putting all the values in maximum heap and the property of maximum heap is that at the top, it always have the largest value. So what I'll do, I'll basically remove the top element. Right. So if I, so once it creates the maximum heap and if I remove the element, first of all, as soon as I do remove, it will give me the 45 because this is a remove element. Now if I remove again, because it will reshuffle the value whenever I remove the element. So now my next element removing will be 38. And again, if I remove, then it will reshuffle and it will again have the next top value in the top. Again, I can have the reshuffle. So now what I can do that once I have done this one, once I have converted into maximum heap, then I will basically remove the k element and the third removed element will be my solution. Or like what you can do, you can basically remove the k minus 2 element and then the peak and that peak element, the remaining peak element will be your solution, right? So if I do using this one, it means, and you know, whenever I'm removing any element, so it basically reshuffle the value and in each reshuffling, it basically take the log n time because in log n, y log n because we have the n element and in reshuffling the n element, the maximum heap takes log n. And how many times we are doing this? We are doing this k times, right? We are doing this k times. It means if you see here, we were taking the n log n and here we are taking k log n, right? Because this is the bigger term, right? So like we have big of O n well or big of n as well but the point is that if you see both the terms will be both the terms will be anyhow lesser than this one right so now this is the time complexity now if you see the space complexity in this case because we are taking the we are taking a maximum of n element because first of all we are putting n values it means my space complexity will be big of n right now let's see the better solution using minimum heap so in minimum heap what we do we basically take the minimum heap of size k, right? So at the starting, I am taking a minimum heap of size k. So what will happen that if it is minimum heap, so it means first of all, it will insert 10, then it will 7. So because 7 is less than this one, so it will reshuffle. So it will something like this, and then you are inserting 11. So the if you see at this moment, let's say if I have only these three element, if I have only these three element, then these will be the top, then these will be the top three largest value these will be the top three largest value, right? So basically what I'm trying to say that 
using this one when we are done with the complete array then these three values will be the top largest value how we'll make sure so let's see that let's say if it is a 30 right and just insert and just put these values in ascending manner let's say we have 10 7 10 11 30 so it means I need to check that if the value that I'm inserting if it is greater than the peak value of the minimum heap so it means earlier my my top three values were this one but now my top three values is this one so what will remove the element which is on top of the minimum heap that will be removed right this will be removed from the top k largest value so what I do I basically remove this value so once I remove this value then I insert the value this one right so when I do this when my value is greater than the minimum heap because now that will be removed so now this will be 30 so now if you see that these three element will be the top three largest value now let's insert 8 so when I insert 8 right when I insert 8 it means this will be somewhere here in my list in my sending list now if, if you see what are the top three largest value again the top three largest value are this one 10 11 30 so if the value which I'm inserting if it is less than the peak value of this it means it will not affect the top k largest value so in this case I won't do anything right I will only do if the value which I'm inserting is greater than the peak value of the minimum heap so now like when I'm inserting 38 so if I'm inserting 38 it means now the situation is changing now my top largest k largest value will be this one so again I do the same thing that if it is the case this element will be removed from the minimum heap so the remove this one so as soon as you remove this one 11 will be here because this is minimum heap and now we'll adding 38 so now 10 11 30 and 38 will be my answer so it means the all the elements of the minimum heap because this is of k size so that will be my answer right then you are inserting 2 so when you are inserting 2 it means 2 will be somewhere here so it means this will not impact the top k largest value so it means we won't do anything now you are inserting 45 so as soon as you insert the 45 it means now it will situation will be changed now these values will be the k largest value so what you do because 45 is greater than this one so it means you remove this value so as soon as you remove this value it will reshuffle to something like this and then you insert the 45 right so now we are done it means at the last whatever values left in the minimum heap of k size that will be my solution so what I will do I will remove the element one by one so first it will remove 30 then it will remove 38 then it will remove 45 and that will be my answer right now it's not that that I should always put the top k value means first 45 we, it can be in any order right but uh, my, my point was that I need to return the top k largest value so this is how I have put the top k largest value right now why this is better solution than previous both the solution so the one case is if you talk about the space complexity here we are doing in big of k Be because in the maximum heap we were to insert all the elements in the all the elements into maximum heap so let's say if there are 10,000 element 10,000 values in the array so it will take the 10,000 space 10,000 into 4 byte space but here it will take only k size value so let's say if my k3 it will just take the 3 into 4 why 4 because let's say for the 4 byte we are we are storing into integer so each integer in java takes the 4 byte right so that's why we are taking 4 so obviously the complexity here is less than this one because here we are taking big of k and there we are taking the big of n now if you talk about the time complexity so what we are doing first of all you are creating the you are creating the k size minimum heap so in this case it will be k log k right now again if you see my size is still the k log k and whenever i am inserting any element whenever i am inserting any element then it is reshuffling only of this size minimum heap because there my my minimum my maximum size was n right but here we are doing log k so now it means that it will be and how many times we are doing n minus k times right because first of all we created the k size minimum heap so for that we have done k log k and now we inserted the these elements so we inserted n minus k times and for each time we are reshuffling the array we are reshuffling the maximum minimum heap and in reshuffling the minimum heap it takes log k right so there it was log n and here it is log k right so the important point is that we are improving the space complexity as well and we have improved the kind of time complexity as well right 
so uh, that's that's how we solved using minimum heap so now let me show you the code as well so that you can get it better so here is my array and this is what I'm giving that I want the top three largest value so now what my aim is that basically I want the values on the list right so I'm calling a function minimum heap and so this is a function using minimum heap and this is a function using maximum heap so let me first tell you about the maximum heap so in maximum heap what we do that we are we are basically uh, we have the two parameters one is array and one is key so now first of all you create the you create the maximum heap using priority queue so in java we can create the or we can implement the heap using priority queue so this is how we we create the maximum heap so once we give this collection to reverse order then it creates the maximum heap now first of all we put all the values in the maximum heap right so once you have put all the values in the maximum heap then we are creating a list so in this list basically we'll put the top three values so then what we are doing so now till the k values will pop will pull the values and then we'll add into list and at the last we can return the list right so this is why my return type is also a list of the integer type so basically i, I will return a list now let's solve using minimum heap so in minimum heap also first of all i create the minimum heap so this is how we create the minimum heap using priority queue now i'm creating the minimum heap of size k so this is how i'm creating a minimum heap of size k so till k it is putting all the values in minimum heap now one by one i start and from the next value so from the next value till the last value i check that if the value is less than then i don't do anything because this will not impact the top k largest value but if the value is greater than this one so in this case what i do i pull the values from the minimum heap and then then i insert that value into minimum heap right so once i do that one then after that what i do i basically remove the one by one all the values of the minimum heap right and then i put that into list and then at the last i can return the all the values from the list right so this is how we can do using a minimum heap and this is how we can do using maximum heap, right so if i run the program uh, you can see of the first program which is using minimum heap so in minimum heap it basically gives me in this order that these are the top three values and this is the way i give in the maximum heap because so why it is giving a different order because in the first way we are solving in minimum heap right so minimum heap it means first of all it whenever it poll it poll the first minimum minimum value so, so that is why it is in ascending order and using maximum heap so when you poll from maximum heap then it poll using in the descending manner first of all it pulls the top largest value then the second largest value then the third largest value right so like if your question is that give me the top largest value in the ascending manner in this case you can use the minimum heap or if it's the question is that give me the top largest value in descending manner then you can also then you can solve using maximum heap so that is again the thing uh, that you can think of as per your requirement right so this was the about k largest value let's say if you want to achieve the k smallest value so in this case you can do just reverse whatever we are doing right so if you do just reverse using in the maximum if as well and the minimum if as well then you would then you would achieve your solution so that's it all so that's all about this video if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and I will also put this source code into description section. So if you want, then you can also get it from there. So that's it. And if you have liked the video, then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such video. Thank you.